Hello, we are actually still here. We are here. Uh, <laughs> you'll notice we've moved a little bit because, delighted to say, with us, Luke Littler and world number four, Nathan Aspinwall, both joined us in the studio ahead of the Premier League darts event in Manchester tomorrow. Morning, Morning. lads. Good morning. Morning. Nice now, to we have moved for a very special reason. That is because we are lucky enough to have our own BBC Breakfast dartboard this morning and you're going to show us a few of your moves ahead of this big... <laughs> it's a bit <laughs> early. <laughs> no, I was just going to say, yeah. how early is this for someone who's normally playing darts? Very. We, 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 we night players, aren't we? Yeah, we're exactly. Night players. Yes. This is, there's only, like, normally one nine o'clock for us. That's at <laughs> night, not in the morning. <laughs> there's only one nine o'clock for us, too. It's just it's the other yeah, one. Yeah. And it's a big week, isn't it, Luke? It's massive. Obviously, I'm near Manchester, but I'd rather choose Manchester over Liverpool as my hometown. And obviously for Nathan, it's massive because he's from Manchester himself. But I just can't wait to get out, out there tomorrow and in front of the crowd. I was just going to say, what do you think the reception will be like for you? I'm hoping it's good. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad I'm not playing him anyway. I was going to say, that's <laughs> that an understatement <laughs> ever. I think they're going to go mad, aren't they? A bit. <laughs> <laughs> um, and Luke, totally credited with a resurgence in interest in darts. Do you feel that pressure? that not only in the game, in the day job, but sparking this new interest in darts playing that maybe didn't have the best reputation beforehand? Um, people might say I feel pressure, but I'm just throwing my darts, yeah. doing what I do best, and I'm just enjoying my life. I'm only three months into being a professional. And it's been quite a ride. It's a long way to go, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, so you're going to show us how to do it, aren't you? Now, they've told us that we're not allowed to go. No, we're, we're not allowed. There's too much expensive equipment <laughs> in this place. <laughs> um, but we have our BBC Breakfast dartboard here. Um, so talk us through what goes through your mind when you yeah, stand Nathan, out. Nathan, I want to know, how do you keep calm? Because it's all about, like Luke said, it's all about staying cool in the moment. Yeah. So as you approach this board for us now, Millions of people are watching. You're live on BBC One. Not trying to make you nervous, but yeah. how do you stay calm as you prepare? I think a lot of it's experience. Um, like he said, he's only three months into his professional career and what he's doing is amazing. But I think for myself, I've been doing it now five, six years, professional. And uh, I think every time you play, you walk out in front of 10,000 people, um, you just kind of get used to it. Um, and it just becomes like you guys every morning doing this. You just get second nature to it, don't you? So, but this is different, so <laughs> like I say, it, it okay, could be a bit on. bad. This one, Nathan. Best oh, of luck. I go, oh god! And I think Luke's going to do a bit of commentary. Are you Luke? You're going to tell us what he's <laughs> doing. Let me tell you. Go on. Oh, right. So the idea is to hit trouble twenty. Go on. Hopefully, no. One. Oh, that's a one. Twenty. There we go. We got one. One out of three ain't bad. Okay. 81. 81. That was all right. Oh, that was a confident nod from Luke. 81 yeah. to beat Luke. <laughs> now, Luke's um, Nathan doing a bit of commentary yeah. for us. There you go. I'll go for ball now, last start. Oh! oh. <laughs> Nearly. Oh, Good my lad. goodness. <laughs> that is just showing off. <laughs> Uh, so while you carry on doing yep. this, we're going to look at some of you in action from this week. But the pressure's on here, so we'll see what happens oh, as this goes. Oh, oh another 180. Come on. Superb. That's the problem. It makes it look so yeah. easy. Um, let's just remind right. ourselves why these two are so good. Here's the break back chance. Finds the bullseye, that leaves 75, out of ball for Bull again. Oh! Oh, Show-stopping finish. Oh, oh. Well, the nuke detonates on the big stage in Belfast with Luke Littler. Has three darts in hand. Double five. And it's the green light for glory in Northern Ireland for Luke Littler. Luke the nuke his first nightly win in the Premier League, beating tabletopper Humphreys, defending champion Van Gerwen, and now Nathan Aspinall to cap a sensational evening from the teenage prodigy. He wins in the Premier League for the first time. He wins the match. So that was you winning in Belfast, wasn't it? Um, I, I mean, Sally talked about that calm that you need uh, when you're up there. How do you silence the noise? I mean, mm -hmm. it's astonishing. 
uh, the noise and the passion that you feel in that room. Can you silence that? Can you just get to your happy place? You can't really escape the crowd noises. It's just, it's always there, constant yeah. throughout the night. Um, <clears throat> but as as star players, you just gotta you just gotta throw your darts and try and win. Yeah, yeah. Like it said, so easy. <laughs> <laughs> and Nathan, just talk us through what we've just seen there. Yeah. What was that like? Um, just another defeat to win, wasn't it? <laughs> but now, um, yeah, we're playing every single week, so the way the Premier League works is obviously if you win your first game, it's two points, then three, then five. So um, again, it's 16 weeks, so you, the, the idea is obviously you try and take one game at a, can, at a time. Um, but yeah, I played Luke in the final last week and I beat him last time I played him. He uh, got one back this time, but yeah, it was a great final to be fair and the crowd loved it. Gave us both the respect that we deserve and it was a loud crowd in Belfast. It was very I loud. I bet it was. Yeah. And I know Luke's well known for, in the grand scheme of things, I don't know how to phrase it, not practising very much. <laughs> Nathan, how much are you training? Um, on the nights, I'll probably do three hours before I play, um, beforehand. Um, when we're not playing, we don't have much time off, to be quite honest with you, so I'm not really practising at home, but like I said, this guy, he's Go just on, so Luke, natural. How much, <laughs> how much would you practise? Don't, don't really. lie. <laughs> the I, truth. I don't really practise. Like, <laughs> half an hour, half an hour to an you hour. You don't really practise. Because <laughs> when, I, when I get a day off, I just want to chill. Yeah. And what do you do to chill? Xbox. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Hand-eye coordination, I suppose. Yeah. Does, that, does that help a little <laughs> tiny bit? And how do you manage it between yourselves as mates? Like, do you switch off the friendliness and then become really competitive? Yeah, you got to. Um, I've said it many times. I spend more time with these lads than my own family. Yeah. Um, we travel, especially me and uh, Luke have got the same manager. So we fly together, in the car together. But obviously, when you're there, it's work. And today I'm trying to make a living for me and my family, so... Yeah. When I play him, I want to take his money off him and <laughs> like he wants to do when he plays me. Let's talk about that for a moment because that the money is really important, isn't it? Because darts has changed your lives. For both of you, just talk to us about how things have changed. Luke, first of all. Um, well, obviously it was the World Championships for myself. I didn't expect myself to get to the final. Um, just wanted to win one game and then I was winning my next five or six to get to the final and then Ever since, it's just been life-changing. And also, the other thing in that final is, it wasn't... I know it, you didn't win, but the, the journey through that final was not straightforward for you, was it? You took some knocks and came back. How important is that, to be able to do that? Um, I think set play is one of the easiest that you can lose, because um, the, the first few rounds, it's first of... You play first of three legs for a set. So you're playing first three, it's a break, first three a break, and then if you're 2 nil down or you're 1-1, one, one, you're on there till the end, so you've always got to dig deep in set play. And Nathan, darts has really changed your life, hasn't it? Yeah, I've, um, there was, you know, there's the famous story of me having 20 quid to my name five, six years ago, and, you know, that probably exaggerated a bit. I think it was minus something. Uh, but, yeah, of course, it's changed my life. It's It's been an amazing roller coaster the last five, six years, and I've won... You know, three TV titles, up to number four in the world. Um, but again, I think my life's different than Luke's. He's 17, he only needs money for FIFA points. Whereas <laughs> I've got <laughs> an Xbox, I've got kids and uh, kids to feed and a house to pay for. So, um, yeah, it, it, it's good. It's a great, great way of life. Um, but, you know, it is tough. There's a hell of a lot of travelling and, you know, you do miss a lot of, of home time. But... No, don't get your violin out. We do have a good life. <laughs> yeah. But also bringing a whole new generation. I talked about it at the start. I mean, there's a story here in the Mirror this morning, Luke, saying that there's a pub chain wants to hang dartboards in all 171 of its pubs because such is the interest with a whole new generation. So you might face some new competition coming up. People that <laughs> discover a love of it in the pub. And, and that's the point, isn't it? It's about opening this sport to people who maybe previously never even considered it as an option. Yeah, I think um, it's moved on from the pub. Yeah. I think that's been the big thing. Um, people who don't really know darts remember darts in the 80s, um, where they're all on stage having a drink, mm. having a fag, <laughs> yeah. that kind of thing, where there's now these, these academies for juniors, which is where Luke came through. Mm. Um, you know, even, I'm only 32, but there was nothing like that when I first started. Yeah. So in the last five, six years, darts has gone through the roof, and what this guy to the left of me's done, he's only 
you know, projected it even, even higher. And Luke, tell me the truth. Are you enjoying your time in the spotlight? A bit. <laughs> a bit. <laughs> Can we see what Nathan's doing? No, he isn't. <laughs> a little bit. Good. <laughs> Good. Go with it. You've got to go with, yeah. yourself. Go with the flow. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> nice to see you both. Yeah. Thank, Thank you, you so very much, much for coming Cheers. in and Thank showing you. us how it's done. <laughs>